Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this colorful flat logo for your channel. I've included the project file template in the description box below, so you can pause this video and start downloading it right about now. And once you have finished downloading the project file template, open it up in GIMP, and this is what you will get when you first open it in GIMP. And this video is to show you how to customize it according to your channel branding and colors and all that good stuff. And so the first thing you want to uh, customize the color for is this, this rectangular band at the back. Um, if you are fine with this blue color, then um, then just leave it as the way it is. But if you are, if you want to change it to another color, select this layer that says change color here, number one. Right click it, alpha to selection. Delete this layer. Go to a new layer. And go to your bucket fill tool. Click on the foreground color swatch and select the color which you wish to use. And click once in the selection to fill it in with your desired color. Select none. And do the same thing for the orange circle here. If you are not satisfied with the color and you want and you wish to change it to your own. So just go to your change color here, number two layer, right click it, alpha the selection, delete this layer, and click on this um black circle layer and choose new layer as usual bucket fill tool and select your color of your choice and click once selection to fit in with your color select none once you have finished customizing your uh, color you can go go and delete uh, these letters in the middle of the logo. And you want to type in your own letters. Go to your text tool and set your color to white and your size to 250 to 300 you can customize it yourself the size is really up, up to you up for you to decide you decide what looks best on your logo I'm not going to restrict you to a particular size or anything so click once in the canvas type in the first letter of your channel name and layer or the crop layer go to your move tool and shift it to the middle like so and you are typing your second letter go to your text tool click once in the canvas type in your second letter or the crop layer again and choose your move tool and move it like so and once you have two separate layers containing their respective letters you can merge the two together so that you have both letters on one layer and move it to the middle using the move tool and now we will create the long flat drop shadow that extrudes from this letter to all the way to the bottom right corner of the canvas and you can do that by duplicating this layer and choose your select your bottom layer your your bottom duplicate layer go to layer layer to image size filters blur motion blur and set your angle to 225 your length set to 256 which is the maximum value they have 
Once that is done, go to your Select by Color tool and click on the area that is not that is surrounding this this white patches and go to select invert you can delete this layer this the layer that you, you have just motion blurred we don't need that anymore go to your new layer uh, type in your layer name and go to your bucket fill tool and set your foreground color to black click once in the selection to fill it in and select none the black color is looking a little too strong so we will adjust its blending mode set it to overlay once you're done with everything you can merge everything together by right clicking any layer and choosing merge visible layers and go to file export 